welcome to day eight of Vlogmas. I have not long since been up. I've just had my morning coffee um, with Zach and I'm now just going to throw on some old clothes and go for a walk in a very wet and soggy and very foggy um, Tuesday morning. It is so miserable here today. Um, but, you know, there's nothing else we can expect really because it's winter. Anyway, how are you all? Um, what are you all doing today? What are you all up to? Today my plans are, I've had quite a busy um, couple of days in my shop. So I've got quite a lot of packing up to do of orders. So I need to go to the post office. I've got um, a couple of places that I need to visit today that I have purchased things from. And either need to return because they're not right or... One of them is broken and I need to return that. I am going to try and do a little bit of work in my craft room today. Um, for me, more than for the shop. And um, do a little bit of baking. And whatever else happens today. Um, so yes, just wanted to pop on. Um, oh, my hair. This is my hair. Um, my hair is in a terrible state. It is in desperate need for a haircut. But I... It can wait. I'm not going to have my hair cut until we've got Tim sorted. And, um, yeah, I'm not even risking it. Um, I've just read on the in the news. I have um, a newspaper on my iPad. And I've just read in the news this morning that the first vaccine has been delivered to a... I think it was a 90-year-old lady. So it started, hopefully, today will mark the beginning of the end of this horrendous virus and we can all sort of try and get back to some sort of normality again. Oh, I do hope so. Whilst I'm fine, don't get me wrong, I am desperate to have my life back. Um, not that I had an exciting life, don't get me wrong, I wasn't out and about and a jet setter all the time, but I did spend a lot of time with my family and my friends and I have missed that so, so much. Yeah, so much. You just, it just makes you realise that you shouldn't take the smallest things for granted because that's what matters to you the most. That has taught me, if anything, this virus has taught me and that is that, to not take advantage of your loved ones and family and friends because it's so precious to you. Anyway, having said that, I shall get on with my day and hopefully I shall see you in a short while. Have a nice day, everybody.
I received a gift this morning. Um, it was my birthday in October and Tim bought me a subscription to um, an embroidery magazine. And after we'd subscribed, we found out that we had this free gift coming. So I've got all these. Aren't those fabulous colours? So these are all embroidery, th well I think they're all embroidery threads, I think they are. Um, sorry, can you hear Tim in the background singing? The silk finished cotton. <laughs> can you hear him? Eventually got round to making our gingerbread men. Um, Tim's done all the ingredients for me. So we've got in here is flour. In here is um, what's in here, love? Um, a little bit of brown sugar and a little bit of muscovado. Sugar, <laughs> <laughs> butter, um, ginger, cinnamon, bicarbonate of soda, and one egg. Oh, and golden syrup. So we're just about to do it now. So all there's the ingredients and in the flash of YouTubeness they'll all be finished. 